Alright, what's up YouTube? This is Rick coming at you again. I'm showing you another video of the Freddy House, this time in daytime. Hopefully you'll get a better view of it. Alright, here's the front of the fucking house. It's all hand done. I done everything myself. Um, I used poster boards for the frame. And I used craft sticks for the boards. Hand cut, sanded and painted every individual board. There you can see the address. Try to make it as film accurate as possible using freeze frame shots and whatever photos I can find on Google. So it's pretty cool. It's all size accurate with to match the neck of figures. Uh, there's another cool thing. I made the street sign. The sign itself actually came with a Freddy figure. You can uh, probably see it back in the background, but I used the sign for this project. Now, the back of the house, I left the house open in the doll house formation so you could display the figures. I made scenes from the movies and also my own creation. Alright, the bottom scene is the boiler room. Now, NECA has released a pretty cool furnace. You can see it right there. It's um, it got the light in it, but it's a pain in the ass because the light switch is on the bottom, so I have to pull it out and turn it on every time. Kind of a pain in the ass. Anyways, the little girl figures are from Bioshock 2. I painted over them. On this one, I uh, drilled out her eyes. It's hard to see, but yeah, I drilled her eyes out. Added some blood effects. Kind of looks like the girl from uh, Freddy vs. Jason. That's just a miniature tricycle I got on eBay. I had to paint it to look like the radio flyer. The little girl in the... I painted her dress with blue and white colors to kind of go with most of the Elm Street films. Now, there wasn't much I could do to the boiler room to keep it creepy and film accurate. So I just kind of went with my own creation. The thing in the back right there, and that's a locker with a hand coming out the bottom. One of Freddy's victims stuffed away, I guess. And then Freddy's workbench. That was my own idea. Pretty cool. I got an extra Freddy glove sitting there. Plus, uh, you can see all the other weapons, axes, chainsaw, machete, meat cleaver. And under here, let's see if you can see it. Yeah, yep. Can't really see that well. But I got a double barrel shotgun under there and uh, Jason's mask, too. Just for a little special fun bonus. Looks pretty good. Now, moving on to the second bedroom. This is another one of my own creations. Nothing really special about it. It's not from any certain film or anything. My own ideas. Um. I used, you know, try not to get that shadow in there, go this way. Alright, the female is a uh, figure from Heroes. She comes with extra arm and head with the bloody version. So I used those arms and head and uh, added that Freddy arm through the mattress. Added the claw marks down her shirt, the blood effects all over the ground and the walls. Pretty creepy. Now the next ones that I'm going to show you are all made from uh, scenes from Elm Street 3, The Dream Warriors. It's my favorite Elm Street. Um, we'll go right up to the top. This one is... Terry, you guys probably remember her. She's the junkie broad with the track marks with that sucking in. Pretty crazy. Um, I made the scene as accurate as I could from still shots from the film. Uh, it's not 100% film accurate, but it's close. 